Hi, my name is Pat, and I am here today to talk to you about cat herding. Cat, contrary to popular opinion, cat herding really is possible, provided you have the right attitude, the right equipment, and some know-how. First, the attitude. If you are going to move your cat from one house to another, use a cat carrier. You'll be happier, they'll be happier. But if you view cat herding as the next best thing to running with the bulls in Pamplona, let's go for it. Next, the equipment. And before you stress, a materials list will be provided at the end of class. First off, you need leather clothing, the thicker the better, including leather work gloves and leather boots. Cat scratches can cause infections and a desire to listen to old Ted Nugent records. Ugh. You will need bull whips, not toy whips, regular full-on Indiana Jones style bull whips. You will need dead mice stuffed with catnip. Yes, it's gross, and yes, you will need to do this yourself. You'll need ostrich plumes available from most craft supply stores. You will need catnip spray available from all pet supply stores and some twine. And now the know-how. First, you need to assess how many cats you want to have on your drive. This will tell you how many people you need on your drive. In general, you need one person for each three cats, plus someone to open doors at the beginning and end of the drive. Next, you will need to figure out who your dominant cat is. This is often the largest male, but not always. New mothers are frequently the fiercest, but should not be in the herd because their kittens are simply too small to keep up. Whatever you do, resist the urge to use herding dogs for this. A cat will see the dog as a challenge, <clears throat> and a mean-spirited Siamese can take down a full-grown border collie in no time flat. Seriously, I've seen it. Okay, so now you're ready to go. You and your fellow herder should stand outside the door, while inside stands your assistant with an open can of cat food. The smell of the cat food will cause all the cats in the house to congregate around the front door. At that point, your assistant should cover the cat food and open the door, and the cats will stream out and be attracted by the smell of the mice and the smell of the catnip and you can draw them along the street, twitching the mice occasionally to make them seem alive, and occasionally tickling the nose of one of them with a the feather, until you get them to where you want to be. Occasionally, you will need to pick one up and move it back into the herd. Be careful to avoid your face, because that's the only place not covered with leather. Choose routes that avoid crossing traffic. Thanks to the internet, most people understand the innate cuteness of cats, but you really do not want some inatten inattentive motorist turning mittens into road pizza. Finally, when you get to your destination, reward the cats that have made it that far with treats and with good wet food. This will reinforce with them that it is a positive experience, and next time they may be even more willing to chase that dead mouse. And as for you, congratulations! You've successfully conducted your first cat drive. That is, if no more than one-third of your cats went missing, you're, you're golden. You have faced down the fiercest domesticated animal and come away with only a couple of scratches and some Ted Nugent song stuck in your head. This is Pat. Keep hurting.